and welcome to Ark and Dove Presbyterian Church in Odenton, Maryland. I'm Brian Boudreaux, the Clerk of Session at Ark and Dove, and your host here in the lobby, the weekly program highlighting the goings-on at Ark and Dove. Uh, as you can see, I'm not actually in the lobby this week. I am on vacation in beautiful uh, eastern Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains. So um, I've actually invited Ellen Maycar to join me today because I feel like I need to be caught up on what's been going on. So from what I can tell, it's the 20th Sunday after Pentecost. We are two weeks away from All Saints. So if you have a close family that you lost in the last year and you would like Ark and Dove to remember, please email Mondi at admin at arkandove.org with their name and the relation to you. So at this time, I want to welcome Ellen Maycar. Ellen, how are you doing? Hi, Brian. I'm fine. It's great to see you. I'm glad to hear you're having a good time in Tennessee. Yes, and I really miss Ark and Dove, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you can uh, help me get caught up. Uh, I understand that we had uh, two things happen over the last week. We had the peaceful demonstration and the movie night. That's right. The peaceful demonstration was on Wednesday. We had a, a, a fair little turnout there on the Piney Orchard Parkway. And last night was family movie night. Uh, hopefully we'll have more of both of those. Unfortunately, I was not able to attend, so I can't give you a firsthand uh, uh, you know, telling of how it went. But uh, I think we're all really happy to see each other, happy to gather outside, and hoping for more of those opportunities. Oh, that's great. Well, I can't wait to join in as well. So we've also got things that are coming up, right? So uh, first, can you tell me about Logos? Yes, in fact, I actually kind of, I don't have children of the Logos age, but I am now uh, paying a lot of attention to Logos because this week is starting Worship Arts, the Worship Arts segment of the monthly rotation throughout Logos. Uh, this month, the, you know, we, the theme of the year is Fruits of the Spirit and the theme for this year is Love. So um, the, uh, the youth will be getting an email from Amy Goldberg uh, that says, here's your, uh, we have packets of these craft materials with, about this theme, and you can either come to the church and pick them up or have them delivered. Again, Amy will have instructions on that. And in your email from Amy, there's going to be a really cute video starring somebody from Logos. So uh, if you're in Logos, uh, be on the lookout for that. Now, some of the crafts, I have a demonstration here. There's a real sweet little um, love mobile that you can make. And then there's also this apple string art type of thing. We're gonna use these to decorate the sanctuary once all the Logos kids have um, made these apples. We're gonna hang them up on a fruit tree. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that's great. So last week you had Kim Champagne on the program and thank you so much for hosting last week. You did, did an awesome job. Uh, and I just wanted to highlight some of the things that, uh, that Kim mentioned, and that was um, a couple of the book clubs, right, that we have uh, coming up. Being um, Grateful in Difficult Times by Diana Butler Bass. It's, um, it's really, I think the, the Ark and Dove group is going to do a companion course, so reading the book is optional, but the course has a lot of, a variety of uh, videos, interviews, exercises, reflection, pieces that you can do as well as reading the book, but that's sort of like the, the secondary element, but it's based on the, the book. And then apparently on October 27th, Pastor Tim's going to be starting a, a, a small group as well. Is that correct? Doesn't that sound interesting? Ancient prayer practices. Oh yeah. Uh, and you can get the book, right? Either on Amazon or heartsandmindsbooks.com. Um, and I, yeah, I think it sounds phenomenal. I, I, um, he's just so insightful on, on, on those prayers and, and, and stuff. So I, I hope to also get an opportunity to talk to him about that. Um, I know. Well, I, you know, we have so many <laughs> faith backgrounds here at Ark and Dove, you know, Catholic people, people who grew up Baptist, people who grew up no church, people who grew up Jewish. Um, and I wonder how many similar elements there are going to be, you know, because, you know, these denominations haven't been around forever. And it all comes from the same roots. You're right. Now, we also have, as we do every week, you know, Sunday Fellowship at 11.15. So uh, if you have the invite already, you know, uh, you can just join. And if you don't, you can email um, fellowship at arkandove.org. So I probably won't be there this week, but I try to get there every week. So it's, it's always a, a fun experience. Can I put in a plug for Deacon's Game Night? We play code names every Saturday night. So next week uh, at 8 o'clock, and it's always just, uh, you know, silly, laughing, fun times. And uh, there's also the crafting group, 
uh, it's uh, Wednesdays and uh, Mondays, right? Uh, at 7 p.m.? Not every Wednesday, not every Monday. They alternate throughout the month. Okay, but you can get that information from Amy Tardiff, right? Right. Okay, oh, and there's the Friendly Seniors Tea at three on Thursdays, right? So much going on. Yes, we got so much going on. And on top of that, we got a ton of stuff happening around the community, right? Well, yeah, I think, uh, I think now that fall is here, we're uh, having a little cooler weather, we're moving indoors and things are changing with COVID uh, closures and COVID responses around the county. That's right. What about Ark and Dove? What are we doing? Well, we're still pretty much uh, going to stick with live stream through the end of the year. I think we're on a, um, you can come to worship on a sort of an invitation basis if you're curious, if you really feel the need, but we're not really, you know, we're not open in, in any uh, numbers. We've learned by doing um, private events that it's really hard to keep that mask on, to not sing, to not hug. It's really hard to obey the rules. That is just instinctively what you want to do in church. So uh, we're going we're gonna to really reflect on when it's time to open. I know some other churches in the area have, have started opening in limited capacity, but we're, we're just not ready. So are you making plans then already for like uh, Advent and Christmas? We really are, especially knowing that we're not going to really be together. We're trying to figure out some ways to really make it a, a festive, meaningful, a joyful holiday season. We are hoping to have at least some sort of outdoor Christmas Eve component in person. Oh, that's great. Oh, I can't wait to partake in that. That's wonderful. Well, this Christmas will obviously be very different than any Christmas we've had before. So, you know, just uh, go into it with an open heart and an open mind and, uh, and, and remember, you know, the reason for the season, right? <laughs> right. And I think we all feel that we're all in this together. We're all thinking of each other. Same for All Saints Day. Like you said, that's coming up in two weeks. And it's important to, you know, keep those milestones as well. But we're still continuing with, with lots of outdoor activities, right? I mean, we still have, we still have some of the, um, the campfires that, that uh, Pastor John has put together. Um, some of the youth are still meeting on the grounds outside. Is that correct? Right. Absolutely. Right. Right. I think all your individual groups will be getting in touch with you about that. That's right. Great. So there's still opportunities to go to Ark and Dove and, 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 and see the church and, and still um, experience the grounds as well. Well, let me take you on a little walk. You know, we had a, um, the Logos kickoff was to go through the spiritual path and it's still set up. And I did this recently. It's really lovely. Um, here's the kicking off point. Um, you do some chalk art on the sidewalk. Then you walk over here and kind of uh, get started at, um, at these signposts that are around the, the grounds. There's another one over there at the Peace Pole. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And it just mm -hmm. continues all the way around. There are um, exercises for all age groups, you know, kids, adults kind of do some yoga style action. So you might look a little goofy out there in the field, waving your arms around. I know I did, but who cares? It was fun. Well, the point is you're, you're at the church and, and you're doing the walk and there probably aren't going to be a lot of people around. So you could be as goofy as you want. Right. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Well, if you haven't already done that, I really recommend going to the church and doing the, the outdoor walk. That's, that's perfect. It's a really nice, nice, uh, nice afternoon to spend, you know, only 10 minutes or so. So I've been away for a week and I know that some stuff has happened in the county uh, with the schools and the county itself. Can you fill me in? What, what do I need to know? Well, yeah, the school situation is very fluid right now. Uh, the Board of Ed and the school superintendent, Dr. Arlotto, are trying to recommend a hybrid option starting for the youngest students and then eventually phasing in for middle school and high schoolers. And it's still in uh, the planning, well, it's still in flux, put it that way. Um, whether there are kids going to school two days a week, you know, some going two days, others going the other two days. Um, and then you can opt to stay online if you like, but again, the plans are still being worked out. So um, I'm sure all the parents are right on top of this with what is gonna work out best for their children and what their options are. But I know, for example, I, you know, we don't have school-aged children, so this was a little bit of a surprise to me that, that um, this is under consideration. So just the school buses might start rolling again. That's, uh, that'll be a change in traffic patterns. 
Yeah, I think the important thing here is that uh, families have some really um, big decisions and important decisions that they have to make. So I think uh, everyone in the church uh, pray for the parents and families that they make uh, the right decision for their children. And, and the teachers, yeah. I think the staffing issues are not, in, not insignificant, yeah. What else is happening in the county? Well, uh, you know, the, the op reopenings are slowly, slowly happening. Uh, I know that the library now is, is open for curbside pickup, you know, if you, if you call to reserve your book and you can go in and use the computers on, an, on a reservation basis. Um, the mall is open, the Annapolis Mall is open, but of course, Penny's is closed for good. That's not specifically a COVID action. Um, and, uh, but, you know, I don't think it's, it's getting a lot of action, the mall. Um, the airport is still at about half capacity with half the vendors closed, long-term parking is closed. Um, you know, it's still just, uh, you should really call ahead whenever you, whenever you need to go somewhere. That's right. Although I can tell you, having traveled on a Friday afternoon uh, out here, uh, it is, uh, there's still a lot of traffic on the roads. It's really picked up uh, from, you know, say four or five months ago. So, I've yeah. noticed that too. Yeah, I think people are driving, not doing other public transportation, but they're still getting out and about. Yeah, I've, I've definitely noticed the traffic yeah. increase. Well, thank you so much, Ellen. I think that about wraps it up. Uh, there's been a, like I said, there's so much going on. I really look forward to getting back there. And, and, uh, and next week I'll be in the lobby itself uh, and hopefully with a great uh, interview coming up uh, then too. Thanks a lot, Brian. We can't wait to see you back hosting from the lobby. Final word, congratulations to Margaret on becoming an American citizen just in time for the election. That about wraps it up for us today. Thank you for joining us. Um, everything that we've talked about is on the webpage or in the, on the archive. Uh, if you have any announcements, please email that to worship at arkandove.org. Um, don't forget Sunday Fellowship at 1115 after the service and the live streaming service will begin momentarily.